comes to a woman's brain health, we mentioned hormones optimizing are crucial. In the 20s or teens, 30s to 40s for sure, looking at estrogen and progesterone ratios as well as testosterone, and absolutely looking at those ratios when we're in our 50s and 60s, okay? So hormone optimization is crucial for a woman's brain health. It's actually linked many times estrogen changes to inflammation in a woman's body and brain. Number two, stress. Stress is really crucial. I feel personally that women tend to, especially moms and business ladies and entrepreneurs, there's more stress on them when they have a family. There's more details for them. And because their brains are highly connected, interconnected, we can have breakdown faster. Perhaps some people suggest this might be a, a contributing factor to the dementia that women suffer a bit more than men. Very close relationship. Number three, blood sugar. When you're stressed, you tend to storm eat, right? I've heard that phrase recently. And I know that I do this from time to time. When I'm in an intense period of wanting to study something, I'll start munching on things. So we tend to storm eat when we really are not hungry. We're just adding these extra uh, calories to our system and, and this, the nervousness somewhat of that. Even though I don't feel nervous studying, it's just part of this habit that I developed. So I've had to break down that habit. Storm eating, blood sugar changes, we know that Elevated blood sugar as you age is a very poor uh, state for the brain. So we want to manage that blood sugar. And we know that there's a lot of things going on right now with the injections and weight loss and so forth. But we also want to have a lifestyle where we're mitigating stress. And ladies tend to put themselves last, especially if they're moms. We would ask them to kind of take care of themselves in the front end of that, if possible, with the help from their their partner, their husband, if you will, because that's important for them. The more they can maintain their system in a lower level of stress, the whole family benefits from that. And then the last thing I would talk about for a woman's brain health is sleep. We've talked about sleep before, it's crucial. We wanna make sure that that sleep environment is healthy. The woman is able to get the proper quality of sleep using wearable devices, a watch or the aura rings help us to measure the sleep cycles. That gives us insight into brain function. We know that that's what restores brain function. So if you're not someone who's sleeping well, buy something that you can measure easily and get a professional functional neurologist or someone who knows how to manage those things more naturally to adjust your sleep habits so that you can have a healthier brain long-term.